is that a line? Oh, sorry. I was just listening to the Sonic soundtrack. It's fine. It's fine. Relax. So, do you ever listen to yourself in your head, in your brain? And let me ask you. Do you hear your own thoughts in your brain when you think? Because apparently not all people do. Like, does it look like this for you? Let me know. Let me know if it does. Because honestly, I am one of those people that does hear her sounds in her head. Like, whenever I would think when it's quiet, I literally hear me talking in my head. And whenever I do read books... I also like read it out loud, but like in my brain, obviously, like <laughs> in my head, like not actually read it out loud. Do you know what I mean? It's so weird to explain. And whatever is normal for you as a person is so hard to explain if that is not the state other people are in, right? So apparently there were studies and it is known that not everybody has that the same way not everybody has like a thing where you can imagine an object in your head like when i now say think like of a red apple right what kind of red apple do you see do you even see a red apple do you see the word red apple do you have like a high quality image of a red apple maybe the last time you had one in your hand or like a pink elephant how about I say, don't think of a pink elephant. Yeah, those are all like thought experiments and I find them very fascinating because whenever I think of these words, I do actually see the image itself, which is kind of helpful, honestly, when I <laughs> want to design something like a thumbnail. And let me tell you, the whole reason with talking about that is because on my way home today, I was kind of thinking about this exact topic. Don't ask me why. Don't, honestly, never ask me why I do anything. That is just unexplainable. So I was thinking about that and then I instantly had the idea for the current thumbnail you saw for this video where I would have like a big thought bubble and then like my first idea was like maybe have myself in there a second time so I can hear me but then I worked on it a bit and I just used the megaphone. <laughs> I was like, yes, I can hear my thoughts. So, can you hear them? How good can you hear them? Also, if you speak more than one language, right? Which language are your thoughts in? Because believe it or not, some of you might know I'm German, but I have been speaking English for many, many years now online and stuff. Like in my real life, I do still speak German, but... Honestly, more than half of my life is spent online and here I speak English. I have many situations where I will think in English and I even had dreams in English instead of in German. And <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I forgot how German words are. Like I want to say a sentence and then like a certain word suddenly I blank because I do not know the German word anymore. So I only know the English word. Does that happen to you when you speak multiple languages? Like, how do people that speak, like, three, four, five or more even do that? That's crazy to me. Honestly, that is freaking crazy to me. When you are bored, or, like, I guess nowadays it's very, very hard to be bored since we have the internet all the time. We have our phones, our supercomputers on hand all the time. But maybe, maybe you are an older individual, kind of like me, and... You had like those times where maybe you were like in a car on a family trip or something. You didn't have any toys. You didn't have any games, whatever. So you had to entertain yourself. What I would always do, I would have these elaborate stories in my mind. Like when I would look outside of the car or public transport, I would imagine like there'd be a figure running around on the horizon, jumping on like trees and stuff, fighting baddies. <laughs> Or like have all these stories in my head about getting powers and someone getting stronger. Or honestly, I should write them down and someone maybe even write a book. No, I can't. I've tried. I've tried to write a book. I can't. I cannot go for the same idea for long enough to make like a book out of it. I could probably write some short stories, but like an actual book, like have a whole story about one topic about like, no. No, do you not do you not see how my brain works? I jump from topic to topic to topic to topic to topic every single second. 
and starting to do content and streaming only has shown me how real that is. I get distracted all the time. I talk about random nonsense all the time. Why do you think I scream so much? It just goes into my brain and it happens and it has to let out. It has to go out no matter what the current situation is, okay? I have been watching the Netflix One Piece show. Oh my god. I've just finished episode four. So we've met Usopp now. I love my boy Usopp. I did not know that Usopp from the anime could get any cooler. But honestly, the actor they've chosen. Oh, why? Oh, I like him. Oh, I like him. Okay. He is very nice. Honestly, all the actors are very nice. It is very cool. I'm kind of now sad because soon I will have finished all of it. And now then I will probably have to wait multiple years for next one. But it, that is how all of us feel. Honestly, after Netflix announced like the whole thing, you cannot share your account anymore. I kind of just killed my account. But I decided to get like another month or two since they do actually have quite a few shows now I want to watch. There's the One Piece show. There's the stop motion Pokemon show they're doing like next month or maybe like it's like end of next month, like the 28th or something. And then there's Blue Eyed Samurai, which got recommended to me. I still haven't watched <laughs> the, the cyberpunk show so that is something i have to do and i kind of want to rewatch again but i don't know if i have time to that maybe i will just rewatch certain scenes or episodes but who knows honestly who knows do i have a nose you have a nose everybody has a nose actually no most people have a nose i'm sorry if you don't have a nose no offense to you nose offense to you okay gucci and prada huh you cannot just say anymore something is good. You have to say something is Gucci. That is so. Anyhow. Man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off topic so, so, so hard. But you know what? That is what you signed up. That is what you signed up. Let's get back to the topic of hearing things in your brain. Does it ever like, get so bad for you where you are so inside of your head, inside of your brain that you cannot do anything else? You like have to finish your thought. You are like... Basically, you are in your mind palace. You are like Sherlock Holmes now. You cannot leave. You cannot talk with anyone. You cannot interact with anyone. You cannot get out of bed. You have to finish that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not even that. Sometimes I will like even make whole plans for like the next day, the next week, the next year, the next five years. And all like these best thoughts and all those motivational plans. When do they happen? Like at one in the morning. When you won't do anything of doubt at all. Like at some point I started like to write them down. And I think like when you're like so tired, your brain just goes wild or at least mine does. Because when I was waking up the next day, some of the things I've written down, I had no recollection of ever thinking about like... I must, my brain must just be like in the, the mode to fall asleep. Suddenly thinking about every single possible topic in the world and what could be changed and what could I do about it. And maybe you should become a VTuber, bro. Wait a moment. I think I forgot something. Oh shit, I am a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, no, apparently that one did work out. <laughs> All right, you guys, <laughs> let me know what have you been thinking in your brain cells while you were watching this video, huh? Are you still here or are you already drifted off into your brain palace? Anyhow, I will see you next time. Thanks for listening to my nonsense. <laughs> Goodbye.